Hey guys, what is this incredibly weird thing? It's like, I don't even know, what is it? Actually, I do know, and Nepali knows, those are mushrooms. Mushrooms are fabulous and amazing. And one of the craziest questions I get all the time from new gardeners is, oh no, there's mushrooms in my garden. What do I do? Do I pull them out? Oh no! They're actually a fabulous sign of thriving soil. Now I'm gonna get into that and everything else that you really should, should know about mushrooms for an organic gardener or a backyard gardener. But before I do that, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you're notified anytime we put a video out. So you might come out into your garden and see something like this and wonder what in the world is that? Well, those are actually mushrooms and mushrooms are a very important part of a thriving garden or really thriving soil. Now, what are mushrooms? Well, simply put, basically mushrooms are the fruiting body of mycelium, which is fungus that grows underneath the soil. Now, if you're a brand new gardener, you might kind of freak out and go, oh no, fungus is bad. We have been conditioned as humans, for good reason, to be very wary of mushrooms because there, there are varieties that can kill you. You definitely don't want to eat these mushrooms. Um, and fungus on our food, mold on our food, is also something that we've learned from evolution, usually bad. Except I think for blue cheese and I don't know, there's some other moldy stuff out there that we definitely eat. But, sorry. <coughs> <coughs> but mushrooms in the garden are actually a really good sign that some magic is happening underneath your feet in the soil doing things that you as a gardener really can't do artificially. So what mushrooms are doing is they're breaking down organic matter and they're actually making nutrients bioavailable to other plants. It's really fabulous. There are hundreds, hundreds of thousands of varieties of mushrooms and honestly, I'm not super educated in the different varieties. I can't tell you what variety this is. But what I do know is that it is benefiting the soil. Now, typically you see mushrooms after rainfall um, or any area of the garden that has lots of moisture and has organic matter that is breaking down. Now in our garden, because I'm obsessed with mulch and there's mulch everywhere, we get a lot of mushrooms because mulch is a fabulous substrate for mushrooms to grow in. So we see it all the time, but particularly after this last week of a lot of rain, we can find mushrooms all over the garden popping up because they've become hydrated, they're growing, and now this is actually the fruiting body. So this is basically the fruit of the mushrooms that are underneath the ground that are growing and breaking up the organic matter and breaking up all of the stuff that's in the soil. So look at that, isn't that so that white stuff you see right there, that's part of the mycelium, the mushrooms here. And what this mushroom is doing is breaking down that wood chip, breaking down that organic matter into smaller and smaller particles, which in, in turn provides us with a richer soil. So I think one of the probably top 10 questions I get in all of our garden education classes that we do, we always have somebody say, I have mushrooms in my raised bed. What do I do? Do I pull them out? Do I spray? If you have mushrooms in your garden, the best thing to do is admire them. Don't pull them out. Don't spray them. Don't do anything with them. Just let them do their thing. They will fruit. In a couple of days, these will be gone and I won't even know that these were here. But what's growing underneath the soil that I can't see will continue to grow and continue to expand and make my soil better. Now let's go to the front of the garden and I wanna show you what mycelium looks like in a lot of mulch and how you can identify it in the garden. Come on. Ow, ow, leg, ow, ow, ow. Ah, my leg was starting to fall asleep that quick. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm digging around in the garden and I'm looking for an area that I have mulch that's been on the ground for quite some time. And what I'm looking for is this beautiful white kind of I don't know if you'd call that like moldy looking substance but basically white thread like material that's growing in the garden this is very typical to find in any area that you put down a lot of mulch and then there was a lot of rain or irrigation basically what's happening is this 
fungus or mycelium is growing and starting to break down that organic matter into smaller and smaller particles. Well, we want that to happen because we put mulch in the garden for a variety of reasons. We do it because it helps keep in moisture, helps keep the soil temperature down, helps prevent soil erosion, also helps for all of the microbiology that's, that's living in the soil to be really happy because it holds on to moisture. And it's also a substrate or basically a substance for mycelium to grow. Now, even if mushrooms aren't your thing, which by no means am I a mushroom expert, you should believe in the power of mushrooms in the garden and how much of an important part they play in the garden. I always like to tell people who are taking my beginning gardener classes that if you see mushrooms in the garden, it means that you're doing something right. It means you're on the right track. You're providing moisture. You're providing a substrate or a home, basically, for the mushrooms to grow. And they're working in the background to break down that organic matter to make it bioavailable to your plants while you're off doing other stuff which is the best thing that you can possibly do. In fact, kind of think of them as like little helpers in the garden. They're part of your team and they're gonna make you grow really amazing, beautiful plants. Now let's say you've been gardening for a long time and you really just, you've never seen a mushroom in the garden. First of all, don't worry. Some mushrooms pop up early in the morning and are gone within a, a little while and a couple hours before you've gone out into the garden. So it doesn't mean that your soil is devoid of mycelium or mushrooms. Uh, in fact, there probably is some strains in your soil natively, no matter what you're doing. But there are things you can do to encourage biologically rich soil, right? We know that soil needs to contain a lot of bacteria, mycelium, anthropods, you know, worms. There's all kinds of things that need to live in the soil for it to be really happy. How do you do that? Well, in zone nine and 10, the most important thing that you have to do is provide hydration. Now that's why we add so much mulch because when I do water in the garden, I want that water to stay in the soil and not evaporate really quickly in our hot temperatures. And mulch does a really good job of doing that. With the last couple of weeks of our really heavy rain, my whole garden has been a bigger sponge than most gardens because I have so much mulch to hold on to that moisture, which in return is gonna help the mushrooms grow, which are really important. So what can you take away from this? If you see a mushroom in your garden, don't freak out. It's not gonna hurt you. Even if it's growing right in between your, your tomato plants, it's really not a big deal. If you have kids in the garden, obviously don't let them go run and grab and you know eat the mushrooms. Just leave them be. Let them fruit or you know grow above ground. They'll die. They'll be gone in a few days. You won't even know that they're there. But be proud because you know that you're growing something underneath your feet, something that is so magical and really not fully understood yet. But we know that it's important to organic gardening.